Hi, this is Rook from Condemned, and in this episode of Results we'll be looking at Elementalist Healing. I think most of us are happy to see that in Guild Wars 2 we won't need to rely on dedicated healers, but that doesn't mean that we cannot support our friends and allies in a fight. The Ranger and the Elementalists are the only two professions that can create water combination fields. The Ranger can create Healing Spring as their heal skill, and the Staff Elementalist can cast Geyser and Healing Rain. That's not to say that other classes can't heal or protect, but these are the only two professions that can create healing combination fields, which can be very, very powerful. For the Elementalist, Healing Rain is a longer duration, large area spell that gives regeneration to people in its field. It provides only two seconds of regeneration, which only heals for 130 to about 190, depending on traits and gear. It doesn't sound like much, but the regeneration stacks up to 10 times between the initial cast and the 9 second duration, providing regen of about 2600 to 3800 if enemies don't move quickly to remove this boon. If you add some points to your arcane power traits, as well it can last even longer providing more healing. Certainly nothing to sneeze at. Now that's certainly good, but what's better still is when you combine this skill with a combination finisher such as Blast. The Blast Finisher creates an area heal that provides an immediate bonus of about 1,960 health. Healing power and gear can increase this to just over 2,000, but that's a minimal increase, about 5% compared to the number of stats needed to create that bonus. At present, I'm not sure how many Blast Finishers you could coordinate in a water combo field. Several Blasts providing 2,000 point heals could be a huge bonus in a large world versus world battle. Even just one blast providing a quick 2k heal to many people can stop a team wipe. It gives team members the time to get their own heals and dodges back up. A skill that's similar to just the combination that gives you the blast is actually the geyser skill. It provides a more powerful heal in a smaller area. The base is 808 and it lasts for 2 seconds so you get 1600 health back to allies nearby the target location. This skill is more strongly affected by your healing power too, which with gear and traits can increase to about 925, or almost a 15% increase. With Geyser, you can also do blast combinations, so I often find myself casting it just ahead of where our group is moving for a quick heal to keep us in the fight, followed by healing rain once we don't need the urgent help. The blast finisher is fantastic, big heal. The projectile finisher with water appears to provide us much smaller heal. Actually about an uh, extra 2 seconds of regeneration for each projectile finisher you use. When you stack this multiple times, say by switching to earth and spamming stoning while standing in rain, you could keep regeneration running almost 66% of the time on yourself. If anyone was foolish enough to leave an elementalist alone for that long. Now, leaping through a water combination field will provide a heal, and a whirl in a combination field will throw out healing bolts, but I don't have results for either of those combinations at the moment. When you are increasing your traits, while 30 in water might be a bit excessive, it just doesn't seem to provide enough bang for the buck in my opinion. 5 is an easy decision because it will provide the ability Soothing Mist. While it counts down periodically from 10 seconds, it appears to keep replenishing itself anyways, providing more than 80 heal per second continuously. Now since you're probably in water anyways for a few seconds, creating the geysers and rain and creating some blasts to heal your allies, a few water blasts with the staff, that's basically the skill number one, will provide more than 370 healing to allies near your target. This is another skill that you can bump up a fair bit, about 10% with enough gear and traits, but the base level by itself is quite useful as it is. Now there are lots of other traits in water magic that can help remove conditions, add regeneration, or spread boons to other allies. I don't have time to explore those bonuses right now, and if you've seen the other video on combinations, you already know how powerful the water skill Frozen Ground can be when used in combination with projectiles to slow down fleeing enemies, or as a frost aura when you're in the middle of a push against superior numbers. Tactically, 
water combinations, as opposed to the ice combinations, are not an opening move. You start with fire and ice combinations, or maybe poison and darkness combinations, and then you move to your water and light combinations to ease pressure on your allies. You'll probably focus more of these on your mid and back line, as this is where any frontline people being hurt should be dodging back toward to get heals and hopefully overextending the enemy in the process, or at the very least getting some line of sight opportunities to mitigate damage even further and at least get out of the enemy's range as well. The real thing you need to practice in healing is leading your hurt teammates with the water combination fields. It can be a lifesaver if you can time it correctly so that they're just going through it as that geyser or healing rain pops. As mentioned in the notes earlier, we're going to have a table with detailed results here at the end. Uh, this is Rook from Condemned. I want to thank you again for watching. We'll see you out on the battlefield.